Coach Houck here. And Coach, we'll just uh, start with your final thoughts. A uh, good win over Eastern Washington, <coughs> but uh, headed to a real tough Portland State team. Yeah, okay. Sounds good, Tabes. Uh, certainly, <coughs> that was a good win for our team. Uh, we beat a team who had played in the national championship game a year ago and had uh, 16 senior starters. We beat them with our backup quarterback, so I uh, think that shows a lot of progress for our football team. How do you feel like Cam played in that game ultimately? You know, you Good. Did. Good. What stood out to you about Cam's play when you went back and evaluated the film? Uh, just good, solid effort. You know, that was about it. Ran the ball 55 times in that game, which is the most uh, so far this season. Do you feel like the run game was successful in the main for you? Yeah, I do. I mean, it was it was successful. We, I don't know, what did we have yards per carry? About five? About five. And rushed for 255 or 260 or something. So it was good. Anytime you can do that, you got a good chance to win. What sort of challenges does this Portland State team provide given the flex defense that they run? And what's complicated about that? Yeah. Defense? Well, oh, let me hit on Sneed real quick. Dalton will uh, practice either Wednesday or Thursday this week, and, and we'll see if he's ready to go. So that's about where that is. Um, in terms of Portland State, um, obviously they beat us here last year. Uh, they're well coached. They're athletic. Uh, they're undefeated at home this year. We know they went to Arkansas uh, of the SEC for those that are uninformed and uh, gave them everything they could handle and lost 20 to 13. They're scoring 35 points a game. Um, offensively, they're balanced. They're they're both in play call and yardage. They're rushing for 212 a game and throwing for around 250. I think it's 246 or something like that. Um, the quarterback, Alexander, is having a big year. He, he's veteran. He does a nice job. Um, the running back, they play several, but, but we really uh, like their backs. Um, and then there's cutters averaging 17 yards per catch, leading them in receptions. Um, then there's touchdown Charlie, who's the best uh, tight end I've seen in a while. Uh, certainly the best one we've seen this year to date. And then the defense is unique. It's like nothing we've seen the last couple of years. So it's who they are. How would you describe what makes it unique? Um, yeah, I mean, the front's different. How they roll the coverage is different. Everything about it's different. You know, it's not like anything we've played against. Going to have to go back to the early 90s and watch some Arizona Wildcat defense. What is it about Charlie's play that makes him the best tight end we've seen in the last few years? Well, he's got great playmaking ability. He's big and he's fast. I mean, that's what the, the great tight ends look like is what, what Charlie looks like. The fact that a little uncertainty at quarterback, what's the biggest challenge of preparing for an unorthodox defense like Portland State this year? Uh, I don't think it has to do with the quarterback. I mean, we're, we're going to game plan them and play them. So, you know, it doesn't really have to do with the quarterback. It seems like when that defense stays a step ahead of you, it makes it even more challenging. Why is that? What do you mean, step ahead of you? If they, if they have advantageous down a distance, it seems like they can confuse you even more with what they do. Yeah, that's that's every defense that's ever played football. If they're ahead of you, you've got a problem. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're behind, um, then you're going to have to throw it more. And, and if you're in manageable situations, you probably get to run it more. And that's, if you go back to last week, we were probably pretty good on first down. Cam got out of the pocket and scrambled a lot, a lot of big first downs. but. If uh, Dalton's not good to go again this week and Cam is in, he took a couple shots there too. Would you want him to be a little more conservative, slide a little bit more? Uh, no. It's football. We give him pads. He's got a helmet. Go play. Bob, you mentioned Saturday, too. You guys have been a pretty good second half defense this year. Do you think that's been adjustments, or has that been just maybe the game slowing down for some of those guys as you know, they've adjusted well? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't. It's hard to answer. Um, I think we... We train to be good as the game wears on. Uh, I think that uh, the mindset of our guys is that we're going to play better in the second half and be stronger as the game goes on. And 
I think we're good at that part of it. What, uh, what's your favorite and least favorite Halloween candy? Say again? What's your favorite and least favorite Halloween candy? <laughs> Gosh, I like it all. I I don't like. Uh, I mean, I, I like every, I like it all. I'm an eater. That's why I have to exercise. I'm an I'm an eater. I don't like what is. What, I don't like. You know, I don't like anything. Probably that doesn't have at least some chocolate in it. I think like Starburst and Skittles, they're a waste of time. All right. Candy corn is the toughest one. Yes or no? Candy corn. Yeah, but I could break the white top off and just eat the bottom two. The white top's <laughs> awful. The rest of it, good. Bruce Barnum said he was going to get you the dogs pressing. You know what? He's fibbing because he was supposed to send me a bunch. That's what I heard. Yeah, and it, it's never showed up. So either the neighbors are stealing off my front porch or Barney has not followed through. Any other <laughs> <questions>? <laughs> Let's do more of those. Those are good. Oh, it's more fun. Uh, when's the last time you dressed up? Do you remember what it was? Yeah, I was in the fifth grade. <laughs> other, <laughs> otherwise, I'd just go as Brad Pitt. Which is what I'm going to go as this year. On the note of Coach Barnum, what what have you thought of Johnny Cresswell over the last time? Barney's a great dude, good friend, and uh, he does a he does a great job. I mean they they are uh, you know they 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 make a, a a lot out of a little, and you know I I after our game last year I told him I was proud of him for coming in there and getting us. So you know we know we got our hands full, and they do a nice job. In a place like here, Hillsboro, in a, in a high school stadium, is that? I know it doesn't really matter. You say you play in the parking lot, but it's still an interesting atmosphere. Can you speak to just sort of the uniqueness of that? Yeah, I haven't been there, so I'm probably the last one to ask. Um, so I don't really know. My, it's my first time. We, when I was here before, we always played downtown. So I, I, I don't really know. Well, it's like the offense, they I'd add more on candy corn than their stadium. I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys in the run game. What makes that part challenging? Uh, you know, it's it's really not about who's in there. It's about what they're doing. Um, they had a couple new wrinkles for us last year that we have to be ready for. Um, you know, they, they do a good job schematically, and they're pretty good up front. So, I mean, that all of a sudden the run game's good. The backs are good. So it's all the things they're doing around them. And the, the quarterback reads some of the read game. Uh, they actually ran some triple option stuff against us a year ago, which we'll have to be prepared for. In that game last year, when it was kind of you know a lot of self-inflicted you know turnovers and things that you just you know didn't play well, how much do you think you and the, the guys are just looking forward to getting the, another shot at them you know this year? Well, I think you ought to be excited to play every week. I mean, we only get 12 this year and 11 most years, um, but certainly when a, when a team uh, uh, beats you the year before you. They've got your attention. I mean, I guarantee you that. What else? You guys had one uh, cocky opponent with Idaho State, and they got blown out by Idaho State, and you guys blew out Idaho State. So when you watch the film of that game, why, why do you think Portland State struggled in that game? Um, you know, just Ohio State. Ohio State. Idaho State's, uh, it was close early on. Uh, they might have been even scoreless coming out of the first quarter, if I remember correctly. But uh, then, a, you know, making some plays down the field, you know, and it's one of those deals where somebody makes a play and somebody doesn't. Um, you know, it's hard to compare games because it's not our offense versus their defense um, or, or our defense versus their offense. So, you know, we watch plays and schemes and try to figure out what best suits our way of doing things as far as game planning. Um, you know, they just made more plays. That was kind of the way it was. And, <clears throat> you know, Idaho State made a bunch of plays against us in the first quarter here. And and then, uh, you know, it flipped and we made them all. So it's probably come down to making a few. Thanks, everybody. Great. Thanks, guys.